I'm doing really well. All right, so we have some parked aircraft, but I don't see any GA aircraft. Oh, there we go. Now they loaded in. Sweet. Okay, um, he has added additional buildings around the perimeter. We're also using W2XP uh, Autogen, by the way. He's added a Wells Fargo Center helipad. So there is a helicopter pad that is I, I, ICAO UT31. So we may have to visit uh, that. Uh, jetways. He's added jetways to more gates. He's added uh, the cor some correct gate numbers, and he's improved the textures. So, um, so yeah, that's what he's done. Let's take a little closer uh, look. Felix Fox, Felix Fox HD. Good morning from Germany. Guten Guten Morgen. Uh, let's let's zoom on down in. I wonder if you guys will guess what aircraft I'm in. Let's let's slow roll. It. Oh, that doesn't work. Slow roll it in. See if see if we can get someone to uh, spot the John Fly plane. Anyone notice what plane I'm in yet? Ooh. Yeah, there we go. We're one of uh, 9, 10, 11 different plane possibilities. What do you think we are in? Oh, coffee's on the checklist this morning. Is the video, Scotty Adair, good morning. Is the video quality pretty good? Again, for those of you who are just joining, I'm streaming at the highest bit rate I've ever streamed on Twitch. I'm sending uh, up to 6,000 kilobits. Or megabit? Kil megabits. Yeah, 6,000. Or 6 megabits. Sorry. That's right, prop forward. Little 500 JFM given to uh, to prop forward. We are in the B1900. Obviously, my screen was centered on that, but good spot of the actual bird. I got a new livery too. Uh, I think this livery is morning prop forward. Congratulations on your win already. I think this livery is quite appropriate uh, for this aircraft, or for this airport, I should say. So it's a brand new livery, uh, Delta Connection. I think what we're going to do is we're going to probably take uh, the B-1900 out for a couple of, uh, we're going to, you know, we'll, we'll do an extensive walk around the airport to begin with. So we're not going to be flying right off the bat on this stream, uh, and then we'll uh, we'll take off from Salt Lake City in the B1900D, and we may uh, fly up north and shoot an approach from from the north, maybe from the south, maybe from the east, the west. I don't know yet. We'll we'll kind of play it by ear. I got a couple ideas of what we can do, and then I'm going to switch to another plane. Uh, we might go to the Skyhawk for just a bit. Or we might load up uh, the Zebo uh, 737-800 with the uh, Zebo mod and the Aerosim Gaming flight model combined into one. Uh, and then we might shoot some approaches with it. We might take the jar up. I don't know. The fly factor, I don't know. What's in the cup of caffeine this morning? Uh, this is a Keurig... Uh, blend uh, it's called uh, what's this one I think this one's called San Marcos November 8 zero, nine, or nine, or 1 I think it is like a San Marcos blend of some sort so yeah yeah th this is uh, bubblegum YT yeah this is uh, this is uh, Mr. X so uh 
let's take let's take a quick roll around the uh, airport. So as he said, he has completed the general aviation area. So we'll uh, we'll detach from the airport or from the airplane itself. Good morning. Good morning. Peb Pebble Six. Pebble Six works. All right. I th I can't tell which is. Well, okay. I think he's added these hangers. Yeah, these hangers are new. So let's let's slowly roll over to the hangers. Ooh, we got to slow roll it though. So the building quality here. What's amazing is I drove into this area, and it looks exactly like this. Um, which I'm quite amazed at at the way that he re replicates uh, buildings. This is the executive terminal here. But yeah, this parking lot is really there with these trees. Oh, and there's a geocache. There's a geo uh, geocache right there. How exactly how long did it take him to do this airport project? I don't know the answer to that. Uh, I know that I received... Um, I received it a couple of months ago. I, I would assume he's been working on it for a long, long time, but I don't know. A lot of hours put into it. So we got to, we got uh, some GA hangers over this way. This is also the Mr. X Library 1.5. Pebble six RZS. Oh, transition out of KSAN. Oh yeah, San Marcos transition. Ah, the Pebble six. You know why I didn't get it? It's because my brain is on the new air rack. They don't fly the Pebble six much anymore. The new one is. Gosh, what is the new one, Jamie? It's like uh, Razor. You don't go out to Catalina anymore. You stay closer to the coast. Ameriflight. Padres, that's right. After the baseball team. That's right, Padres. So yeah, I don't... I, do, I, does the pebble still exist? Or they just don't fly it as often? Or... I just saw that. I saw someone fly the Padres departure uh, just the other morning. That car going to stop? Oh, he's just going to disappear. That's kind of interesting. The actual texture of the rock on the building is modeled. Wow. I'm impressed. Or there's another, or there's another one for the, to, for the record route to L.A. Well, we know we can't, <laughs> we know they can't name a departure after the Chargers anymore. <laughs> and for those of you who are living, oh, John Fly, acknowledge the follower. Ninety-three Benno, thank you for the follow. For those of you who have been living under a rock, the. Uh, Las Vegas is getting a football team. I'm pretty excited about that, actually. It uh, it will be geographically the closest football team to to me here in the state of Utah. There are still charts for the Pebble. Okay, so it's still active then. Okay. The clarity seems to be high today. Looks great. Okay, good. Thank you, Solitan. I appreciate that. Um. Again, we're we're rocking of the highest bit rate we've ever rocked. It'll be interesting if anyone is watching this on a 4K television. Uh, I think if you click, if you go full screen, Denver isn't closer to you. I don't think so. I think De uh, yeah, I don't. Denver's further from Salt Lake than Vegas, isn't it? I should know that answer. I, I base that on the fact that it takes about 10 hours to drive to Denver 
and it takes six hours to drive to Vegas, but maybe the, the shot to Denver is just not straight. But uh, Denver is my favorite team right now, so... Well, actually, they Denver will be my favorite team going forward as well. But I may have a second favorite. Can you have a second favorite? All right, so we got the Jet Center, the Salt Lake Jet Center. Uh, let's go check out the military area here. The buildings here. We got additional hangars. Just looks really good. I mean, you just can't... <laughs> Just amazing. Oh, there's a helicopter center. That's cool. Oh, and we got uh, air rescue. That looks really good. And then we got the military area up here. Oh, he's gonna. Oh, this is gonna be cool. The Utah Air National Guard. And there's the field elevation. There we go. Yeah, uh, the Oakland Raiders are moving to, to Las Vegas. Um, they got Las Vegas has the LA Galaxy. Oh, oh. <laughs> Los Angeles, you're talking about. Los Angeles has, has a football team, the LA Galaxy. That is correct. They do have a soccer, soccer team. <laughs> uh, Vegas, you hop on the I-15. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, uh, Jamie, uh, how many John Fly miles do I get if I answer your question correctly? Some beautiful military aircraft here. Okay, what is that aircraft? What is that? I mean, to me, it looks like a DC-10. Or is that an MD... I don't know. But obviously the, the military name is something else. DC-10? Okay. KC-10. KC-10. Thank you, guys. KC-10. We got an open hanger there. There's a lot of KC-10s. And I think every time you load the airport, uh, I think the aircraft are randomized. So there might be some military... Yo, John Fly, acknowledge the follower. Some other um, aircraft that show up every time you load. Thank you for the follow, Belfast Lad 2, or 12. Thank you very much. Good, good uh, afternoon, uh, Northern Ireland, if that's where you're from. Uh, so yeah, there's the military area. All right, let's just remind ourselves of a few other things that he did. FedEx cargo terminal. I wonder if the FedEx cargo terminal is over this way. All right, so we know that he's increased um, the some of the fidelity for the asphalt and runway textures. So you can see here, it really does look like Oh, you know what it looks like happened also? No, I still got the wiggle line. Just, yeah, I still got a little bit of a wiggle line on that. That's okay though. Let's go see what if, is. I don't know if, I don't know if the FedEx terminal is over here or if it's north. We'll take a quick look. Can't wait for the MD-11 to come out. MD-11 MD is longer and thinner, okay. It's a tanker. I can make one turn out of my house at a set of lights and get on anywhere along I-15 without making another turn. I do not live in the United States. Where do I live? I, I guess I won't look at a map. St. Wol St. Wolfric. <sighs> well, do you happen to know anyone at the bank of JFM, St. Wolfric? Because if you know if you know someone at the bank of JFM, they might be able to sort it out for you. I 
think this is, well, I see some FedEx planes up here. So yeah, here we go. Uh, Jamie, let me think about that. I'm going to guess. I'm going to guess it's on the con. Mm. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna guess that it's um. Yo, John Fly, acknowledge the follower. That it's somewhere in Alberta, Canada, so far. But tell me if I'm. It's either it's either Mexico or Canada. I think. Thank you for the follow. Stephen K. Jones. So here we have the FedEx uh, terminal that's been added in beta 3. But look at the textures. I don't know the cities along the border is the problem. I know a banker that enjoys a bottle of David Bruce. Ooh. Mm, David Bruce. Warm? Um, I guess I... I guess... Uh... I don't know the border towns. It's got it's got it yeah, it's gotta be somewhere on the Canadian border. But I don't know the border town name, so I don't win. I guess I can do what everyone else does. Just just look at the map, I guess. Is it is it Coots? Coots Coots, Alberta, or Sweetgrass, Coots, Sweetgrass, or Milk River, I don't know, <laughs> alright, texturing looks good, I don't think there's anything inside the building, nope, but we do have a nice, now this one, that would be, that would be a DC-10, uh, oh, Woodman66 with the sub. Uh, I appreciate the subscription so much. Really appreciate it. Thank you for subscribing to the John Fly channel. You are now the proud owner of a John Fly chat badge. Anyone here that has the JF on the left side of their name, thank you for your support. Thank you, Woodman66. I like rocking the, uh, the Invisistics. Sticks. Yeah. Thank you. MD eleven. Okay. So this is the this is longer than that than that KC ten. Okay. I, I obviously I don't know my MDs and my I don't know my McDonnell Douglas aircraft on like on site. Oh, it looks like we have a DHL terminal over over here as well. Now that's a seven two seven, right? I would I would guess that's a seven two seven. He oh, this is new. I've never noticed this before. This is the uh, this is the f uh, testing area for the fire department. They put that fuselage on fire and they do drills that's new that's not not that's not in the list of what's been added either Salt Lake City Department of Airports yeah I like that 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 is a nice livery there I want that livery why can't Mr. X aircraft objects replace the CSLs yeah no kidding I think Cessna Rocks is um, thinking about creating some liveries. Here's the DHL building. It looks really good. I mean, it just looks amazing. Uh, sorry. 
johnfly.exe has stopped working. <laughs> well, of course. If I think about it, I make one right-hand turn, and I don't know I have to turn again. Oh, you make one right turn. Well, if you lived on... If you lived... I mean, yeah, if you lived in Coots, Canada, and you lived right on uh, 2nd Avenue, you'd make one right turn onto I-15. So, but this is a riddle, isn't it? <laughs> You're killing me. It's too early. I would probably have to make more than one turn to get out of Coots. Not if you lived on 2nd Avenue in Coots. But I look forward to the answer. Yep, the burn plane. Iowa Flyer, good morning. Lethbridge. Okay, Lethbridge. I can make one turn onto Scenic Drive that eventually turns into AB4, which turns into I-15. Okay. Lethbridge. Okay. It's good to know. I didn't even know 15 went to... Uh, went to the... all the way to the border. I should have thought about that. Jay Krause, good morning, John. Good morning. All right. Well, there's uh, there's uh, there's DHL. Uh, there there you go. Saint Saint Wolfric. If you can tell me what aircraft that is right there, I will give you your miles back. <laughs> Right now. Let's go to viewers. Ah, Microsoft Gamer. Microsoft Gamer. I think you're going to get the hot one second there, Microsoft Gamer. <laughs> Everyone's answering for him. <laughs> All right, I had you at two hundred and twenty-five thousand, um, Saint Wolfric, two hundred and twenty-five thousand, something, and I had you time watched of eleven six four seven, and a prestige level of four, expiring two twenty-eight. 18. So if we take you to zero, or we take that to zero, and we take that to zero. Sorry, just doing some JFM bank maintenance, I guess. Don't never show your bank screen, folks. Currency for St. Wolfric is 225,600. Time watched is 11647 and a prestige level of 4. And we change this to to and change that to 28. There we go. St. Wolfric, are you still here, man? Where are you? If you guys see St. Wolfric, tell him that he is, his bank, his JFM have been restored. All right, let's continue our tour. The plane looks too skinny to be a 767. Yeah, pretty sure that was a 200, a 767, yeah. Duke Demon, hello. Can, Jamie, can you get 230K? What would you do with 230K? Pedro Dowd guesses it's a SOP with Camel. That's very close. V Looper with the 777 guess. Morning, AJ. You just got home from work. That's a, that's a, that's a nice shift and a half.
how did work go? What, what was your highlight of, of the work shift? Here's the tower, of course. It looks as beautiful as ever. Mm-hmm. Oh, I think there's been some additional stuff added in this area. I don't remember that silo being there before, but it, can, it may have been. Fire protection water tank. Does anyone know if the 757 has a cargo variant? I would like to know that answer myself, Miniwebs, because I got the new UPS and FedEx uh, livery for the 757. Maybe the set, maybe my UPS does have. Yo, John Fly, acknowledge the follower. Sayu, good morning. Become prestige level four, of course. Ah. Oh. Yeah, well, just start gambling. Spend some of the 230k on a UD command. <laughs> oh, I think there should be a rule that the UD command can only be used after midnight. Uh, Oliver T123 with the follow. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Those of you who don't uh, know, AJ, A. Jonesy here. If you're not following him, give him a follow. He is approaching a thousand followers. So congratulations on that. AJ, give him give the man a follow. Uh these are the de icing trucks. Look at the detail. Look at the detail. Seven five sevens two hundreds modified for cargo. Yeah, I think no, I think what he's asking is if you can load up in a in a cargo plane without the windows. I think that's what he's asking. Hey Jones, he got to work six AM, they served us breakfast for thirty minutes, spent an hour talking about how the company is doing, group picture, and then back home. Sounds eventful. You did a, a twelve hour stream since the host. Hit the one. Oh, you hit the one K. Oh, beautiful. That is awesome. That is so cool. Uh, I noticed that my uh, FS Economy Bank had increased. So you did. I think you took. Well, I think you, I, as I hosted you, you took the caravan up to. I think you took it up to Fresno, didn't you? Congratulations on the thousand followers. That's a good, a good milestone. All right, let's continue our look around. Um, Added, modify the layout around the north cargo area. Added a new de-icing pad. Where is this? I got to see if I can locate the uh, de-icing pad. Did you guys see a de-icing pad over here? I didn't see a de-icing pad. What would a de-icing pad look like? The taxiway lines. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm not sure where the, what a de-icing pad looks like. I wonder if it's on the chart. It is on the chart. Perfect. Watch this. Um, so according according to this, yeah, there's a bunch by three four left. Yeah, and no, this one's by one six left, I think. But I guess they're calling. I guess they're calling this area right here the de-icing pad, maybe. Because you taxi... Yeah, you taxi up, and this is hotel. Hotel 12 and hotel 13, and this is the de-icing pad right here. When is Mr. X going to release this airport? Well, um, the... Uh, 
this is he's announced that this be, this is beta three, and this will be the last. He believes that this will be the last beta before the release candidate. So we are close. I, I'm going to go ahead and uh, you know est- guesstimate. I'm, this is a pure guess on my part, but I'm going to guess that it's going to be uh, next month. But you know, maybe we'll be surprised and it'll be at the end of this month. Maybe it'll be in May. I don't know. I have not heard. It, I guess the quote that, uh, yeah, it's just spring. I, I, I think it's a safe answer. One day DIC will actually be simulated like in the real world. That would be pretty cool because these uh, these de-icing uh, trucks here look pretty good. It'd be pretty cool if they were actually in use. All right, so those of you who, some of you may not have seen, uh, this is the terminal. So, yeah, this is the Charlie Gates. We got the Bravo Gates. Alpha's over there. Parking garage and the terminal. They're building a brand new Salt Lake City. So this this is, uh, you know, I think the brand new Salt Lake City will be done in, uh, I mean, it's they're just doing a lot of construction. And it'll be done in uh, 2020. And I think what Mr. X will do is he'll just come out with a version uh, update when that comes down the road, down to three or four years. The Sky West Terminal. You're giving away a GTX 980? Oh, nice. How, how are you going to do the... Uh, how are you gonna do the giveaway, AJ? Is it is it a drawing or how are you gonna do that giveaway? Cause my uh, I have a friend who could use a 980 if it's a random drawing, and I can get him to uh, watch you. But maybe you need to probably need to pick from your thousand followers. You have an hour and a half. We flying anywhere? We're just going to be doing we're we're going to be doing pattern work around Salt Lake City for a bit. Yeah, they're building the they're building, they're building. I mean, it's a whole new uh, a whole new Salt Lake City's coming. Um, it's going to take a while. There there are some uh, renderings online where you can look at the new Salt Lake City fire department. Looks really good. So yeah, we'll probably take off here in within. A little bit. So five people will be entered for... Oh, let's see. How are you doing? Five people will be entered for a final final drawing. Two people already in out of the five. How do you get in? How 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 did you choose the two out of the five? I missed that. So here's the D-gates where all the uh, CRJ aircraft are. How do you? Uh, let's see. There's a sixty second um, permit. Man, the cars look good coming out of the terminal. Okay, I'm gonna sh- I'm gonna show you guys one thing. Some of you guys have already seen this, but so this this uh, where you come drive into the area, you did a nightbot drawing after you hit one k. Oh, nice, cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Shy Town, do you have? Um, do you have a Google account? 
because if you have a Google account, you could upload it. You can download the Google Drive app on your onto your phone. All right, where is it? Where is it? I think it's right there. There we go. All right, so so my wife and I did 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 the reconnaissance for Mr. X. Yeah. So here, my wife. In this video, my wife is hanging out of the car window with my iPhone, and she's recording Salt Lake City International as we drive through. And the whole purpose that she is recording this footage for is for Mr. X to have reference material. So we'll just let me turn down the sound here because that's not going to really help. So she's filming the entire area, the waiting area. And all and the the train the train station here right, and then we get to the terminal, and she's like she's just slowly coming through here, and taking footage. Now look at this, so you see the ticketing, Air Alaska, and you see the uh, the 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 type of texture that is here, right? Look at that ticketing. and the texture of the building. That's JetBlue Southwest. So there you go. You got the ticketing. You got the ticketing sign here that says JetBlue Southwest. Yeah. And then you got the ticketing JetBlue Southwest. So it's pretty cool. And then she continues driving through the terminal. And you see the reflections off of the windows. See the reflections off the windows. And, and people are looking at us like, why are these people filming the terminal? She's just holding the camera and she's, she's just being a solid camera woman. And, uh, and so Mr. X paused the video and took some of the video and rendered it into uh, the terminal building. So yeah, it, it's kind of cool that, that 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 video footage that we did that day assisted with the uh, the development of the terminal. Now, the other um, the other I'll just give you guys a quick look here. So the other thing that we did is we took pictures. We took a bunch of pictures inside the terminal. Took a couple of night textures when I was actually taking a flight, um, and then I took pictures of. Uh, the rental, rental, the new rental car buildings, um, some of the buildings out, uh, like the Civil Air Patrol building, so like the Civil Air Patrol building, and um, yeah, got some helicopters, hangars on the east side. You can see the, see this hangar right here. This hangar right here uh, is now in in the uh, in the sim. Uh, that hangar that was open when we were looking when we were looking at the uh, the KC tens. I don't think that Boeing building is there yet, if it, or if it's going to be. But so yeah, so if you look here um, inside a terminal, so you see the the A six. You see the chairs, you see all that. So if we go, uh, I was going to show you guys. If you if you go along here, right, doo -doo 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 -doo, you're seeing the reflection. That's so cool. The reflection, the reflection, the doors. I mean, it's just so cool. He's not done yet either. But if we go inside the terminal, oops. That one's actually, oh, sorry for getting dizzy here. We'll go inside Alpha 1. See, see there's trash cans and, uh, yeah, the gates. It's kind of cool. And then the same thing over here at the Bravo gates. Oh, Bravo's empty. That's cool. Let's see if anything's inside Charlie. Yeah, 
Yeah, there we go. Charlie Gates. And it's just a nice touch, though, right? So the Charlie Gates actually have the Charlie signs telling you where to go. But, yeah. Yeah, it's not available yet, Andy. Uh, the new rendering of the airport looks bad. Yeah, it looks really, yeah, it looks very efficient. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a cool airport. Uh, made That made security nerf nervous. Yeah. I, th I think you're right. Um, St. Wolfric, by the way, do a JFM check. Oh, you you know you have JFM because you're already betting 5,000 on roulette. So we took some pictures of... Man, there's a lot of... A lot of cars now. Yeah, some rental car buildings out this way. Uh, anyway, the, and then of course you guys know that I'm, I'm a member of the Global Sim Alliance. Oh, and that, oh, that was the other thing I was going to show you. I mean, some of you guys have seen this before, but. So the, these, these pictures here I took of the, of the, the train. So here is what's called tracks, the UTA tracks. And and so I took a bunch of pictures up so Mr. X could get some of the uh, the idea, the detail of the of the tracks. And there's the and there's the side. There's the front, the doors, up close on the doors, just to give him an idea of the textures, right? And uh, the way it's connected, etc. So we took all those pictures of the train, and then he incorporated the train into the sim and this is so these are taken from those photographs now you guys know I'm a member of the global sim alliance and so he put the the global sim alliance logo onto the train global sim alliance of which you can still it was too hot in my cockpit to have this on today but you can still buy your Global Sim Alliance shirt or hoodie by typing in exclamation shirt. Exclamation shirt in the chat will give you a link to rock the Global Sim Alliance shirt with all of the streamers, John Fly, and more. Yeah, it's an awesome shirt. So thank you. Any Easter eggs? Yeah, I think this is one Easter egg. I, I'm sure there's other Easter eggs, but I thought it was kind of cool that we took a picture of the train and it got, you know, it it helped out and we got the Global Sim Alliance onto the train. Now this is actually a moving train. So you'll see the trains, you can see the train coming out there. So the train's coming in into the station. And I love the fact that it's uh, that it's animated. Yeah, and the Global Sim Alliance twice. It's pretty cool. The train looks good. Yep, for sure. Oh, St. Wolfric got 5,000 already on, on roulette. AJ profited 22.22. Valdude should be up here in a couple hours betting. Funny thing is, my name is on M. Congro's train at LGA. I saw that. In fact, I think there's a couple names at the at the Key West Airport up in the air conditioning area. I think there's a couple of names of some uh, folks that uh, were early on in his streams. So yeah. So yeah, and of course we have the catering area. And we've got um, the U.S. Postal Service up this way. Uh, unfortunately, the John Fly Golf Course that's right over here that borders the airport, they shut it down. It's really a sad story, too, because what, what had happened is this airport or this golf course is called, and you can rock the golf course emote right now, this golf course is called Wing Point, 
and the um, I don't know all of the details but the story is that the FAA told the Salt Lake City Airport that they're not charging enough for the use of the land but the golf course was running on a very tight budget and they couldn't afford to pay more than what they were paying for the land and it was something I don't know the whole story but it was something to do with the value of the land near the airport and the FAA was giving, putting pressure on them. Anyway, they, they, they had to shut the course down. They just shut it down. But they're not using it for anything right now, right? So there's rumors, and or maybe it's not rumors, but I think the current mayor of Salt Lake City is trying to get them to open the, the golf course back up. But it's been shut down for a couple of years. I took a flag the last day. I was like the third to last group playing. And yes, I took a flag as a memento. Don't tell anyone. FSX Games, how you doing? So yeah, that's the little story about the Wing Point Golf Course. All right, does anyone want to see anything else before we take a flight and shoot an approach or two? Is that the... What's that over there? <gasps> oh, cool. The, uh, the, the, the parking exit where you pay is, is being modeled that is so cool so yeah when you pull up to pay your money to get out of the uh, that's pretty cool did he model the city no oh that